Those of you who love horror are likely aware that Japan has more than its fair share of terrifying urban legends. These are two of such tales, told from first-person perspectives. As is typical of Japanese urban legends, they deal with paranormal or otherworldly entities. One of these stories has been translated from Japanese into English by my friend and fellow YouTuber Phantasmal Wretched, who has also provided his voice at points, along with Lady White Rabbit and all that creepypasta. I never used to believe in ghosts, not even slightly. But now, I do. This is a story about how I started believing in the supernatural. Around two years ago, I used to work at a convenience store in Japan. It was in the countryside, and closed early at 11pm. This is early in comparison to other Japanese convenience stores. I was working that day with my kohai, or my junior at work, Sato. It was roughly 10.45 when I said, Hey, Sato, let's call it a day. Yeah, let's. I want to read the latest One Piece manga. The shop closes at 11pm, but workers at the convenience store were only supposed to leave the store at 30 minutes past. As we had to press out time cards, Sato and I always spent the extra time reading manga books being sold at the convenience store. We finished checking the sales and cleaning the store at around 11pm. We closed the front entrance, switched off the lights, and started to read. Then, suddenly, the store chime sounded. Hmm, someone must be at the front entrance. Sato, go and check it out. Yeah, sure. As Sato went to the front entrance, I went into the monitor room and set the CCTV monitor to the front entrance. In the monitor, was a woman. Her hair was relatively long, and she was wearing a white, single-piece outfit. She looked pretty good, but I couldn't make out her face on the screen. Sato came back from the entrance and entered the monitor room. I said, there was a woman out there, right? The store protocol is to open the entrance and talk to her. Don't be lazy. Every now and again, people come after the closing time to this convenience store. Most customers from out of town don't expect the store to close so soon. We generally just apologized to these customers and told them to leave, as it was a massive fucking bother to open up the register again. But Senpai, I looked outside and there wasn't anyone there. Yeah, right. I saw her on the monitor with my own eyes. Uh, really? I did look properly. Stupid bastard, I thought to myself. There's no way he would have missed her. She was right there at the front of the entrance. But I figured there was no point in shouting at the guy. Sato always pretended like nothing was wrong, even when he knew he'd made a mistake. I figured he'd just been too tired and lazy to talk to her. Whatever, dude. It's cool. I reset the monitor of the CCTV cameras of the store to default. The monitor started to automatically cycle through all of the different cameras. Ten minutes had passed. I looked at my watch and it was 11.15. Ah, I sighed. Nearly the day was over. As I did, my eyes fell on the screen of the monitor. While I was watching, the monitor changed to the footage of the camera set to the newspaper section by the window of the store. That's when I noticed that the woman from before was still waiting outside. She was standing just outside the window. She was staring directly into the CCTV camera. It was almost as if she was looking through the camera at me. It was goddamn creepy. Then the monitor changed to the footage of another camera. God damn it, Sato. That woman from before is still waiting outside. Uh, I told you before, there wasn't anybody outside when I last checked. Uh, Jesus, I'll go and check it out myself then. At this point, I figured the woman was probably just pulling a prank, or was simply lost. 
As I was about to stand up, Sato exclaimed, My god, Senpai, look at the monitor. The monitor? The monitor was now showing the footage of the confectionery section. Everything was as it should be, except standing in the aisle was the woman from before. This time, she had her back to the camera. What the fuck? What is she doing there? Sato was panicking, and no wonder. It had only been 20 seconds since we saw her standing outside of the store. Even with a key, it would have been impossible for her to be standing there right now that quickly. Sato calmed down. I set the monitor to continuously film the confectionery aisle. The woman wasn't moving at all. Then, suddenly, the phone started to ring. Sato and I jumped up in fright and looked at the phone. It stopped ringing after only two rings. Terrified, I looked at the monitor and I saw nothing. The woman was no longer there. What? Senpai, where, uh, where has the woman gone? In a hurry, I started flicking through the camera footage. Nothing at the newspaper section. Nothing at the alcohol aisle. Nothing at the... No. There was something there. She was by the register. Her back to the camera, again. Oh my god. She's getting closer. At this point, I was convinced the woman on the screen was not human. In all honesty, although I didn't show it, I was panicking just as much as Sato. I used to watch internet horror videos all of the time because I didn't believe in ghosts. I enjoyed watching them because I thought they weren't real and that I knew it would never happen to me. But it was happening now. What should we do? I noticed, as I spoke, that my voice was wavering. I don't know what to do, senpai. You do something. Maybe we should make a run for it from the back door. But even if we were to escape through the back door, we would have to go through the store, and that would mean running past her. I was starting to contemplate what to do when Sato screamed. Looking at the monitor, the woman was staring at us, but only her face. Her neck had twisted 180 degrees, and her body was still facing away from us. It looked as if she was smiling. I didn't scream, but I thought I was going to piss myself right then and there. Sato was practically in a frenzy. He reached towards the monitor cable and pulled it out of the power socket. Senpai, we've got to leave. We've got to get out of here. He was panicking. Calm down, Sato. We're going to have to make a break for it. But inside, I really thought we were done for. At that moment, I was sure that this was how I was going to die. I had always thought ghosts weren't real. But the thing I didn't believe in, the thing in those videos I watched, was right in front of my eyes. I picked up the key for the back door. But at that moment, the monitor switched back on despite being unplugged. On the screen was the face of the woman. Her skin was deadly white. It looked like she was dead. But her eyes were beautiful. I couldn't take my eyes off them. I was so scared that I was actually quite calm at that point. It was almost as if I had accepted my death. Sato screamed and he ran out of the monitor room and he made a break for the back door. Wait a sec, Sato! Sato got to the back door and put his hand on the doorknob. I heard him scream and he fell to the floor. 
I ran towards him, and I tried to help him up, but he'd fainted. That's when I looked up at the door. The woman was staring at me through the glass. She was giggling, like she was making fun of us. I was scared, but at the same time, I was furious. Why do I have to die here? I screamed at it. What do you want to do to us? Leave us alone. As I shouted, the face faded away from the door. She was gone. It was all over. Thank God. I relaxed and slumped to the floor. That's when I heard something falling in the store. A bang. A crash. I couldn't move. I didn't have the guts to say anything anymore. A window must have broken, since I felt cold air rushing through the store. The ghost was still rampaging through the store, when suddenly, it stopped. It had been roughly a minute since it all started. At that moment, the phone once again started ringing. I didn't answer it, but the call came through anyway. I picked it up. Hello? 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 Disappear. With that word, I fainted. Senpai, wake up! Standing above me was Sato and the store owner. It was 4.50 a.m. I must have been asleep for ages. What the hell happened? Why is the store completely wrecked? Sato, didn't you tell him what happened? I talked slowly. I was still in a daze. I still can't believe it myself. You tell him, Senpai. Sato was pale. He looked like he would vomit at any second. I explained to the owner what happened. That's ridiculous. Let me check the camera recording. I pleaded, please don't, but he didn't listen. Twenty minutes later, the store owner came out of the monitor room. You pair of idiots. There wasn't a woman there. He paused. But I also didn't see you guys trash the store. The owner also seemed pale-faced. You kids can go home. I'll sort out this mess. As we turned to leave, the owner stopped us. By the way, I think it would be best if you didn't tell anybody about this. I just wanted to go home. Yes, sir. Sato, come on. Me and Sato walked to the car and got inside. I tried to sound strong, and I said, All right, Sato, let's go home. As I looked at Sato, I saw he was looking at something. Sato was whimpering. No. No way. She was standing in the store behind the owner who was clearing up. I switched on the car engine and got the hell out of there as fast as I could. It's been a while since I worked at the store. I quit the very next day, and so did Sato. I heard afterwards that the store closed down roughly one week after we had last worked there. I sometimes still have to drive by that store, and although I try not to look, I sometimes catch the glimpse of something white in the corner of my eye. This is the Japanese urban legend of Kisaragi Station. 
The story comes from a conversation that was held on a Japanese blogging site called 2Channel, between the creator of the thread, called Hasumi, and two other bloggers that were still awake and active on the thread in the early hours of the morning. Hasumi used a phone to post these messages. Hey guys, Hasumi here. I think this may just be my imagination, but can I post it anyway? Go ahead. Yeah, what's going on? I've been riding a certain train for a while, but something seems off. I always take this train to work, but it hasn't stopped at any stations for the past 20 minutes or so. It usually only takes 5 minutes, or at the most 7 or 8. There's 5 other passengers, but they're all asleep. I think you probably took the express train by mistake. Well, it's possible I may have just missed my stop. I'll wait a little longer. If anything else strange occurs, I might bring it up here. Hmm. Maybe try going to the carriage on the end to see if the conductor's there? Yeah, it would be really bad if he's fallen asleep or something. I tried going to the end of the carriage, but there were blinds or something covering the window, so I couldn't see the driver. Did you try knocking on the window? I tried that, but nobody answered. Can you see out of the window? Try and see if you can spot the names of the stations you're passing. The train just came out of a tunnel. There usually aren't any tunnels. I can't see out the window, but I got on the train from Shin Hamamatsu Station. We're slowing down. Looks like we're finally stopping at a station. We've stopped at Kisaragi Station. I wonder if I should get off. I have never heard of this place before. You should get off here and try to find someone. No, stay on until the last stop. The last station is more likely to have a taxi. Well, I've gotten off the train, but there's no one here. I'm searching for Kisaragi Station on the internet, but it doesn't seem to exist. Yeah, I'm not getting any results for Kisaragi Station either. I'm looking for a train timetable on the station, but I can't find it. The train is still stopped, so it'll probably be safest to go back on. On... Uh, no... It just left while I was writing that. Why don't you try leaving the station and look for someone? Or why don't you see if you can find a taxi? I'll look for a taxi from the station, thank you very much. Okay, sounds good. Take care. There doesn't seem to be any taxis anywhere. In fact, there isn't a single person or building. There's just fields, mountains, and nothing else but darkness. Why don't you call your home number, or the police? Or call for a taxi if you can find a number. I called home and asked to be picked up, but neither of my parents seem to know where Kisaragi Station is. They said they'll look for it on maps so they can come get me, but I'm getting a little scared. What about the others? Are you the only one who got off the train? I looked for a public phone, but there's nothing, and no one else got off, so I'm alone now. Sometimes, they have phones outside the station. Looking into it, apparently the name of the station is written with the kanji for devil, but it's read Kisaragi. Mm, devil Station? Yikes. Why don't you walk back along the side of the train tracks? If you walk along next to the track, We'll definitely be able to get to another station. You're right. I didn't quite think of that since I was panicking. I'm waiting for my parents to call while walking along the track. I really just want to go back home. I really think you should wait until it's lighter outside before you do anything. Waiting all alone in the dead of night? And in some ominous place? Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, going through a tunnel alone in the dead of night, and on some ominous train line. No, you're right. That's a better option. There's really nothing around here. All I can see are fields and mountains, but I think I'll be able to make it back if I go down the track, so I'll keep pushing on. Thank you very much. Treat this as a joke if you want, but is it okay if I ask for more advice on this thread if I encounter any more trouble? Of course. Just be careful out there. Just don't get lost, and be careful in the tunnel.
My parents can't seem to find where I am, so I called the police and explained my situation. But they thought it was a prank and they got angry at me. I got scared and apologized. Apologize for what? Should probably give up for today. Just wait for the first train in the early morning. I hear what sounds like beating drums mixed with some kind of bell way off in the distance. I'm scared. Honestly, I have no idea what to do at this point. A drum and bell ringing? Are they having a festival or what? You might think I'm kidding, but I'm too scared to look behind me. I want to go back to the station, but I don't dare turn around. Just run, and don't look back. You can't go back to the station now. Keep going through the tunnel. I'm sure you'll find you're not too far. He's right though, don't look back. Someone behind me just yelled, hey, don't walk on the track, that's dangerous. I looked around expecting to see an attendant and saw one-legged old man, and then he vanished. I think I'm too scared to move. I told you not to look back. Just run. Calm down and listen to me, okay? Check out where that drum's coming from. There's bound to be someone playing it. Where the hell are you planning on leading Hasumi? That's a bad idea. I can't run any further. I'm too tired. The drumming sounds are getting a little closer. Wait for dawn. It won't be as scary in the daylight. I'm still alive, but I fell and started bleeding, and I've broken a heel, so I'm sitting still on the ground. I don't want to die. It should be safe once you leave the tunnel and get to the other side. Once you get out of there, call for help immediately. I called home again. Dad's calling the police, but the sound keeps getting closer. Jesus, I hope for your sake that's not the sound of the train coming down the tracks. I finally managed to make it to the front of the tunnel. The sound's still getting closer, so I'm going into the tunnel. If I'm okay once I get to the other side, I'll post again. Good luck. The sound you're hearing is just something you imagine. I left the tunnel. There's someone up ahead. It looks like all your advice was right after all. Thank you so much. My face is such a mess from tears he might just mistake me for a monster. Wait, someone's there? On the train track? This late at night? That's really suspicious. He seems gentle. He was worried about me. He said he'll give me a lift to the nearest station in his car. Apparently there's a kind of business hotel there. I'm truly, truly thankful for both of you. Is he gentle? He sounds pretty scary from what you said. Hasumi, before you go, please answer me this one thing. Can you ask the man the name of that place? I asked him where it was. He said we're near a town called Hina. That seems extremely unlikely though. We've been heading towards the mountains for some time. It really doesn't strike me as a place where trains would go, and he's stopped talking to me completely. Maybe because you're constantly messing with your phone. Listen, that guy sounds no good. Why is he by the track at this hour? Hasumi, listen to me. Leave him and run. Excuse me, Hasumi, ask him where Hina actually is. Hasumi. At the next available chance, get out of that car. My battery's almost running out. Things are getting strange, so I think I'm gonna make a run for it when the car stops. He's been muttering to himself for a while now. This is gonna have to be my last post. This was the last post from Hasumi on the thread. Despite attempts from the two other bloggers to contact her, they were never able to do so. Whether this was something paranormal, or whether Hasumi was simply confused due to a mixture of tiredness, stress and fear, all that is known is that she was never seen again, dead or alive. 
the identity of the mysterious man in the tunnel remains unknown. It is thought that after following a number of ritualistic steps, one might find themselves on a train bound for Hina, but nobody is exactly sure what conditions must be met. Some laugh off this story, but many young Japanese pray that they will never mistakenly find themselves alone at Kisaragi Station. Make sure to check out Phantasmal Wretched, All That Creepy Pasta, and Lady White Rabbit now. They're great channels and are really worth your time. Also, make sure to check out the artwork of Anthony Salinas, who made the thumbnail for this video and basically all of my other videos as well. Stay spooky, and remember, the best things happen in the dark. Run, and don't look back. <laughs> you sound like a question. Well, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Just say it. The sound you're hearing is probably just something you imagined. Just run through the tunnel. Oh shit! Oh shit! Run through the tunnel. Okay, this is a difficult one. Uh, do all right. Fuck! Just right. Jesus Christ! Okay, and. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm not gonna use that. Alright, um. Uh, 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 um. Jesus Christ! No, okay, that's the same. Uh. Fuck me! <laughs> you fuck me! And then I fainted. <laughs> Alright, okay. Oh, I'll, I'll just say. He, he, well, I'll just scream. say he screamed or something. Well, okay, I'll, I'll try and do one. I'll try and do one. I did. Ah! See if that works then. <laughs>